Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new vlog. Hello. Well, vlog slash video today. We're doing yeah. a cooking vlog. Yeah. So uh, same as we did uh, last week where we documented like making one of the recipes uh, from HelloFresh. We're going to make this one today which is crisp cauliflower nuggets. We thought it was quite an interesting one to do because we've obviously never had it before mm. and also it's vegetarian um, and yeah we just thought we'd give it a go and see what happens. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous. It takes 40 minutes. 40 minutes. 2 v 5 a day. 2 v 5 a day. I think this is more of a healthy one. I think it's one of their balanced ones mm. um, but I might be wrong. Um, but yeah, we're going to give it a go, so hope you enjoy. Let's crack out the ingredients. Okay, we're going to need cauliflower, mayonnaise, panko breadcrumbs, don't know if I said that right, <laughs> Central American style spice mix, lentils, courgette, a clove of garlic, a red chilli, coriander, chopped tomatoes, and sour cream. I'm glad Helner always remembers this at the beginning of a recipe because I never do <laughs> preheat the oven. You never read that bit. No. So, first thing we've got to do is coat the cauliflower. Pop the cauliflower florets into a mixing bowl, season with salt and pepper, and stir in the mayonnaise. Mm, okay. okay. So we've popped the cauliflower, and now the popped cauliflower we've popped inside the pot. <laughs> <laughs> like a tongue twister. <laughs> Just add in the mayo. And I guess we mix it. And you gotta mix it. And then, in another small bowl, we mix the panko breadcrumbs with half the Central American spice mix. Oh no! <laughs> Disaster <Hey>. strikes! Disaster! <laughs> <laughs> I'm back on track. Always just use your scissors. <laughs> uh, so we want half of this yes. Central American Spice Mix. Season the crumbs with salt and stir in a glug of oil. A glug? Like, I think. <laughs> Look like nuggets. I see what they mean. So we put the breadcrumbs in Except with the cauliflower. Them, but I'm just stirring them. Otherwise, we're going to lose the cauliflower. <laughs> It'd be like the breadcrumbs all over again. <laughs> yeah, we've got to transfer the florets to a lined baking tray. Now we actually don't have any uh, paper, so we think we're just going to put a little spray of oil, oil. stop them from sticking. The and roast them on the top shelf of the oven until golden have, and crispy. We don't have tin foil, do we? No. No, don't have any of that. No. Just cling film, but that's definitely Sorry. not going to work. Uh, right, yeah. And then I'm going to prep the veggies. So I've drained the lentils and now I have to squash them with a fork. <laughs> So the crispy cauliflower nuggets, still got 16 minutes to go. I've just been squishing the lentils. Martin's been cutting the courgettes. So we thought this would be a good time to let you know about our third Disney quiz. Can you believe it? <laughs> I know, it was only meant to be a while. I know. So our third Disney quiz is gonna be on Thursday. So oh, tomorrow, yes. if you're watching this on Wednesday, and it's gonna be at the earlier time of 6 p.m. So Thursday the 30th of April at 6pm on our YouTube channel and yeah it should give us a bit more time to like chat to you guys and yeah I went with the majority vote on my Instagram so thank you if you did vote on that and yeah we'll yeah. probably... We'll start, it's a live stream, we'll start at 6 Yeah. And the quiz will probably start around about 10 past. Yeah, so make sure you're there for six, um, but we will give you a few minutes to like get everything together and yeah, we'll probably start at ten past six, we'll start the questions, but yeah, yeah we're excited. 
No need to write my questions. I know, me too. I need to decide what impressions as well. Oh, yes. <laughs> but thank you so much, guys, for supporting the quiz because we can't believe that this is our third one and still people are like interested in it, yeah. like putting it into their diaries. Like we feel very fortunate that we have this community of people that are just really up for it. And yeah, it's just, it's really nice, isn't it? To just have a bit of fun and uh, something to look forward to. So yeah, we'll see you Thursday the 30th of April at 6 p.m. And then tonight we're looking to take part in It All Started With The Vlogs. Yeah. Pub quiz. She's doing a pub quiz tonight. So we're gonna um, take part in that after dinner or as we're we'll, eating dinner, <laughs> depending how, we'll how quick we are. Pardon? I don't know how we'll fare. Yeah, I'm not sure. One of the categories <laughs> is like science, I think. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna take part in that. Um, it all started with a blog has been doing quite a few quizzes actually. She did a Disney one as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, she hosted a, a musical theatre one, I think. I don't think it was on YouTube, but it was on somewhere else. Ah. So we'll pop um, Emily, who is it all start with a blog, we'll pop her channel in the description box as well. And yeah, so we're just cooking a cooking. <laughs> Sorry if it was a bit dark, we just realised uh, <laughs> we didn't have the light on. So it helped if we could see what's going on. So we'll put a splash of oil in this pan here. Oh, we need to do the stew. So we heat the splash of oil in the large saucepan, add the courgette and cook, stir for three minutes. Stir for three minutes and then we got to stir in the garlic and the remaining spice mix. Ah, this leftover mix here. Garlic and spice mix has gone in. And then the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna cook that for one minute and then we're gonna add finely chopped tomatoes and water. Oh, we've gotta see how much water. 75 ml. We've added the finely chopped tomatoes, we've added the spice mix, the garlic, and the water. And we've gotta bring that to a simmer and leave to bubble away for five minutes. So while that's boiling, today we watched another one of the films from the uh, Disney animated classic series. So today we watched Fun and Fancy Free. <laughs> I feel like in this classics list, this might be a bit controversial. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy them. But there's been a weird, like, section. Yeah. Where it's just got all a bit weird. No, but and they're not my favourite. I know. I, I researched, and the reason is the ones we've watched. So like um, the Three Caballeros, Salad. Oh, what's the other one? Salad of Smigos. Yeah. Um, they're part. Fancy they're part of a package of films that were made during World War Two to save money. Yeah. And the money that was made from those films then goes into making like Cinderella. That's it. I just want to get. To Cinderella because after Cinderella it's a really good run of films yeah um, but there's like these weird ones just before you get to it but if um, you've got a fear of uh, ventriloquist dummies don't watch it don't watch Fun and Fancy Free because uh, some of those crop up uh, <laughs> it was just random like I don't know it's split into two when you said two parts yeah Jiminy Cricket's in it and I, I love like his entrance at, at the beginning uh, and then there's a story about a bear, and then the second half of the film is Mickey Mouse, Goofy, and Donald doing Jack and the Bean stuff, which actually I quite enjoyed that. Bit. Yeah, I think there's just a few bits where you notice, you realise how old it is. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's some bits which don't really translate to mm -hmm. nowadays. Yeah. Some of like what they say. Um, but yeah, it was it was an educational watch. Yeah, you have to watch them. You have to appreciate them because they go into Mick and the other ones. Yeah, <laughs> and we do want to watch like all 59, I believe, at the moment yeah. of the classics. So we have to watch it. Gotta Otherwise watch. Otherwise, you'll be incomplete. <laughs> the lentils are going in. Splash. <laughs> and then it should go nice and thick. Yeah, we've got to cook it for another five minutes. Our nuggets, we think they're pretty much done, so we've actually turned the oven off at the moment. I like it though, it's got in this, it's got do any washing up now whilst everything is cooking. <laughs> Come on then, beanie! <laughs> You've done most of it! I have on the way. Now we've got to stir in half the coriander. 
and then you can add as much chili as you want. So we don't want all of it. We don't think we don't want I'm it too not spicy. Very spicy gal. <laughs> so maybe just a pinch. Just a pinch. A pinch of chili. Okay, and then we're almost ready. That's good. And then we're gonna have it in bowls. Oh, the alarm's going off. It's time. And then we gotta add a dollop of sour cream. Okay, everyone, are you ready? Grand reveal. I think it's pretty good. Yay! Oh. So this is going to be new for us That's trying new. this, but I think we did quite well. Yeah, I think so. Yay! These are really nice and crispy. Bit of a close up there for you. Well, you you were the one in charge of the nuggets. Oh, pressure. You're the nugget expert. So we're just waiting, two minutes to go, till the quiz, the pub quiz. So Mickey's here, he's he's brought some wine in for Helena. <laughs> Thanks Mickey. <laughs> Got beer there. What did you think of the food? It was really good. It was, it was nice, nice, yeah. It was quite spicy and we only put a bit of the chilli in, so I think the actual lentil thing had the a spice to mix. it anyway. No, spice mix. Oh like, yeah, we put all the Indian spice. Indian style, we, yeah. We put all of that in, yeah. that little tub. Mm. But yeah. Just be a little bit warned because I was getting a bit hot. The sour cream, <laughs> well, and they give you a lot of sour cream as well. So. Full full pouch of sour cream, so we ended up just stirring that all in, didn't we? It was nice. It tasted like really healthy. I don't know if that's a thing, but like it didn't feel like you were having, well, you weren't having chicken nuggets. Yes. Yeah. But it it was really nice that they had those breadcrumbs still. Great it. alternative. And I really enjoyed it. I'd have it again. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it was nice. So come with us now as we uh, do this pub quiz. <laughs> so we just finished the quiz. We did quite well. We pulled it back on a few rounds. It was all of the subjects that you get in Trivial Pursuit. So geography, entertainment, science and nature. Art and leisure. Sport and leisure. Art and literature. Um, yeah, we got 46 out of 70... 70 something? Something. <laughs> <laughs> we got more than half. <laughs> we actually, we were... Pleasantly surprised with how rounds, well we did. We got like eight or nine out of ten, and then other rounds we got <coughs> two. <laughs> Couldn't believe that we got eight in sport and leisure. I know we never do well in sport and leisure. Normally, I think we were kicking ourselves for ages though. We had that thing where like we couldn't think of an answer, and then we thought of it much later on. Uh, while we were doing answers to other rounds, but it was like, what is the name of the stadium, Barcelona uh, FC Stadium? And we've been. Yeah. <laughs> we couldn't remember. We spent like a whole day there and we couldn't remember what it was called. But we got it in the end. And then there was like the last round, which one was it? The art literature one where we, we were just guessing at things and yeah, getting we them right. Get them. <laughs> but that was really good fun. It was really fun. Sorry we didn't update you for uh, the rest of the evening. We didn't really do much else actually. Uh, Helena watched this uh, Stephen Sondheim uh, birthday celebration that was on YouTube. And then I've been doing some subtitles for tomorrow's video. I've been trying to get back on track with the subtitles. And so like the day before, making sure that they're done for the video that's going out the next day. That way I can keep up and uh, don't miss out on any videos. So now that I'm keeping up to date, I can go back and do the ones that I've missed out so far. But uh, yeah, it is late, so we're going to go to bed now. So we'll see you in the next video, which... Oh, actually, the next video is going to be a live stream. It'll be our Disney quiz. So we'll see you tomorrow at 6 o'clock uh, UK time for the Disney quiz. It's Disney quiz number three. Let everybody know. Uh, we'll see you then. Toodle pipski.